All right, guys, good old boy 32 here, checking out. We're sitting in the home office. Tell you what, man, we've been working around the house today. I'm finally going to get my real office back. I've been working out of the dining room. We got the kids moved upstairs, and my office is going to be mine again, which means I'm going to have a place to store all my crap other than the dining room. All right, so I'm going to talk real slow and methodical in this video because I've I got a comment from one of the viewers that I talk too fast. And you know what? He's right. I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what happened yesterday. A ban on our beloved sporting rifles. Now, I've taken some notes here because, well, I want to get this right. And uh, Canada. Oh, Canada. What, what have you done? Well, you've got this guy who you voted in as your prime minister. And I don't think so much as he is a prime minister now as he has he become a full-blown tyrant. Because I will tell you this, that if they do in the United States what this guy just pulled unilaterally without any input whatsoever, but because he's the prime minister and because they don't have a second amendment up there which protects the citizens' rights to have firearms. Now, I would say that our government has done a real damn good job at limiting what we can and cannot have. But I'm going to tell you something. Canada, it never thought it would happen so close to home, but it sure as heck did happen right then and there. And YouTube, we're not using foul language, so I full, fully expect this, pro, this uh, video to be monetized. All right, so let's talk about this. Uh, yesterday, Justin Trudeau unilaterally banned AR-style firearms as well as 15 other firearms that are like the AR, to include the Mini-14. Now, why did he do this? Well, they had a, a shooting, I guess, 20 or a couple days ago, two weeks ago, and uh, he had planned on doing it, but he, because of the COVID-19 thing, he didn't do it. But yesterday, he went ahead and, I guess, did it. And I don't know how things work in Canada, but you typically what has to happen here is it goes through a legislation as, you know, your senators and your congressmen are representatives of the people. They vote on it. Then it is sent over to the uh, legislative and executive branch, and then it's signed into law. So there's a lot of steps that have to take place in order to get this to happen. But no, Justin Trudeau single-handedly with a one swipe of the pen decided that the people of Canada were no longer allowed. Now, you got two years to uh, uh, turn them in. I guess turn them in, or they're going to go through some type of legislation because if it involves money, I guess they're going to have a buyback. Now, this is what I find really interesting is that people talk about this buyback. I don't remember purchasing my firearm from the government to start off with. So how is it that you, with this beautiful little, it's a buyback plan, we're just going to buy back. Or should I do that with the wee wee? <laughs> I don't know. What's a Canadian, A? Eh? We're going to buy them back, eh? So you've got two years, but in that two years right now, even if you have your beloved AR sporting rifle, which, by the way, Justin Trudeau says, you don't need that to take down a deer. Well, you know what? You're right, Justin Trudeau, but unfortunately for we United States citizens, we have this thing called the Second Amendment. But I will tell you this right now, that if that guy, Joe Biden, and I say that guy, Joe Biden, if he is elected... They are going to look at this thing right here, the Canadian deal, as a model to run by. Or maybe they've even looked, the Canadians looked at us as a model. Who knows? But in any case, you can have and possess your AR-15 sporting rifle. You're just not allowed to use it, transfer it, sell it. Uh, you can turn it in back to, I guess, well, you can sell it to somebody outside of the country. But isn't that disgusting that this guy with this one swipe of a pen has told you what you can and cannot do. Now, how do they know that these people have these firearms? Well, I guess a while back, I'm not sure, I think the Conservative Party overturned this whole thing, but you, when you purchased it or you had it, you had to register it. So when people say, registration's a great thing, we oui, we, oui, or A, that registration leads to confiscation. And confiscation is the same thing as a buyback. That is the exact same thing. So it comes in. We are going to, because we want to make it right, we, we, is go ahead, A, eh, and buy back your gun, A. Eh? That way it's not a confiscation, we, we. That's French. I'm not sure if you guys understand that. But Canadians, 
this is your opportunity to rise up. Vote this jackass out of office. I don't. I, it's, it blows my mind. I know that you've got Quebec and Ottawa and uh, you know the big major cities, and that's again why we have this awesome thing called the electoral college vote, which is another reason why the Democrats want to get rid of it because as long as there is a there is an electoral college vote, we the people have a fighting chance against the big cities. So anyway, let's do this. Uh, all right. Justin Trudeau introduced an immediate ban on so-called military-style weapons. What does this mean? It means that the Canadians can no longer own AR-style rifles and a number of other rifles, 15 in total. 1,500. Uh, I'd like to thank Pete. Pete, one of our good friends. Uh, I love listening to that guy. And a big shout-out to him uh, for putting the video out this morning. Hell, I've been so busy, I really am trying to not want to news. Problem for Trudeau is that there's over 100,000 AR-type weapons. Uh, in, in the state of uh, the state, the country of Canada, they plan on buying them in the so-called buyback plan. I'm just going over my notes, make sure we didn't miss anything. How do they know who have AR-15 rifles? Registration. Registration leads to confiscation, or what they deem as a not. It's not confiscation, wee wee. It's a buyback. I mentioned that. Uh, there's two years. You can keep them before you can turn them in but you can't use trade, transfer, or sale. The, uh, the key element here is you cannot use. Hmm. So if you're a person like me who have a, a number of AR-15s, what do you do at that point in time? Well, I'll tell you what I do. Uh, no one's getting my shit. Oh, damn it. I promised YouTube I wouldn't cuss. Oh, well. Uh, gun shops are allowed to return them to the manufacturers. Kind of reminds me what Maura Healy did up there in, in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, also, here's another thing. The cities can now ban pistols if they want to. So you have a municipality that decides that they've got a real weird-ass uh, board or council, and then go ahead and ban the ownership or the possession of pistols. This is the danger of what's going on. If we allow something like this to happen in the United States, rest assured, folks, it will happen. Until Valhalla, you and I will be marching side by side. Better, letter, probably sooner than later. So anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Canada. Oh, Canada. Anyway, this is why we will kick your ass in hockey every year. Or at least I think we will. I don't know. I don't follow hockey, but it sounds right. All right, guys, this is not a laughing situation. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, Brad, I believe it is. I hope I talked slow enough and that you had a comprehending all the things that I said. I know I tried to speed it up a little bit, but I'm glad we didn't. We'll always end it like this. Uh, God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who fight for our Constitution that was originally written and not interpreted by a bunch of left-wing liberals who said that our rights do not cover the ownership of AR-style sporting rifles. I don't know if they know this or not, but every gun out there can kill. doesn't matter what it is. And it doesn't matter if you ban them from law-abiding citizens. There are jackasses and assholes who will always be able to get these things and they will always do evil if they can. The only thing that you're doing is you're taking the rights of the citizens to be able to protect themselves. That's it. 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and all that other neat jazz. Go to Boy32. I'm out. Y'all be good.